Welcome to this short video in which I'll show you the SALT matrix app. In a nutshell, matrix compares objects across SAP systems, showing you exactly where the differences lie. Traditionally you might do this at a transport level, but matrix is different in that it compares systems at the object level, giving a more complete picture of the actual functional differences between your systems. Let's take a look. Now, let's say I want to know if my systems are the same or not. Matrix can verify my landscape consistency and answer exactly that. Are my change control processes working? Matrix can find and highlight sequencing issues where changes are not propagating correctly. Or is my test system really in the state I think it is? Matrix can tell me if it's safe to begin testing after a system refresh, for example. So let's see this in action. Firstly, I'd like to verify the consistency of my landscape. I'll select the development system then QAS and production. And let's take the red pill. In no time at all, Matrix has compared every versionable object across the systems I selected and shows me exactly which are different, which are the same, and which are missing. All results are summarized across the object hierarchy and I can drill down to see the individual object results. Now here's a program currently in development. Matrix shows me that it's the same in QAS as it is in my development system but different in the production system. This makes sense during the development phase, but it would be an issue, for example, after my project go live. I can also see in this last column here that the sequencing is correct. By analyzing the object versions in each system, Matrix confirms that this change is propagating throughout my landscape in the correct order, from development into QAS and only then into production. Here's another program, this time in a different development class. Unfortunately, in this case, we've got a problem. The object's the same in production and development, but different in QIS. Now my change control process says that all changes go from development into QIS and only then into the production system. So this object clearly has a sequencing problem. Matrix highlights this for me, so now I can go look into it. Without Matrix, I might never have found out about this issue until a bug was reported. Another example of when Matrix can be used is comparing systems after a major event. For example, before final testing of a major development, we might refresh the QAS system from production data. However, there's a window after this system refresh in which more migrations might occur or changes could be made. Perhaps even the refresh might not be performed correctly. Matrix allows me to validate the system state and avoid wasting time testing with the wrong code or data. So this time I'll select production as the driving system and then QAS. In this case there are quite a lot of differences. My basis team wouldn't let me refresh our whole QAS system just for this video but you can imagine that after a real system refresh, assuming everything went to plan, there would be no differences between the two systems and Matrix would show that here. If not, I could work through each of the differences Matrix shows me and keep running it until every problem was resolved. In short, Matrix allows you to quickly see exactly what's different or not across any systems you choose to compare, whether they're in the same landscape or not. So, thanks for watching this quick video. You can try out Matrix and the other Salt apps today by downloading Salt from saltapps.com. Also, please use the Salt Apps Forum to get help and contribute to the ongoing development of Salt Apps for SAP.